cobbling together a Christmas music marathon. This week brought one of those mini festivals that seem to sprout periodically in New York's classical music ecosystem, four evenings of choral music tied to the Christmas season. It began on Monday, with Thomas Crawford and his American Classical Orchestra and Chorus performing Carl Philip Emanuel Bach's delightful Magnificat in the Christmas portion of Handel's Messiah at St. Ignatius of Antioch Church on the Upper West Side. The bounty continued on Tuesday with the hardy perennial Messiah of the St. Thomas Choir of Men and Boys, led by Daniel Hyde at St. Thomas Church 5th Avenue. On Wednesday the focus shifted to the Elder Bach, with two-thirds of his Christmas oratorio presented by Masaaki Suzuki and his Bach Collegium Japan at Alice Tully Hall. And this makeshift series concluded on Thursday with a hugely attractive Bach program by David Schuler and his Choir of St. Luke in the Fields. Featuring the rousing cantat number no. 63 and, to round out the week, Papa Bach's great magnificat at the Church of St. Luke in the Fields in Greenwich Village. There were echoes here of last spring, when everyone seemed to fasten on J.S. Bach's St. John Passion, except Mr. Hyde and his St. Thomas forces, who sidestepped to a St. John Passion by Carl Philip Emanuel, perhaps the most gifted of Bach's composing sons which proved modest and much beholden to his father. C.P.E.'s Magnificat is something else, a masterpiece in its own right, which looks as resolutely to the future as his father's does at times to the past. Mr. Crawford and his forces gave it a good outing, with an especially fine turn by Nola Richardson, a soprano. They also gave a sturdy account of what Mr. Crawford, in remarks from the stage, called a short messiah, the first part of the work with, as encore, the Hallelujah Chorus. Mr. Hyde, faced with the unenviable task of succeeding the beloved John Scott at St. Thomas, did his first Messiah there last year, and it was a bit of a disappointment. But he seemed to settle in beautifully on Tuesday, bringing in the period orchestra New York Baroque Incorporated, a group of budding stars, and conducting from the harpsichord. The chorus, with its annual crop of new faces, sounded as good as it ever has in my memory, though the soloists were uneven. Lawrence Jones was an impressive tenor, but the baritone Jesse Blumberg stole the show with his bass arias, strong yet deeply expressive and smartly modulated. The rare opportunity to hear the excellent Japanese Bach Collegium, so familiar from recordings, live and in the responsive acoustics of Tully Hall was most welcome. Mr. Suzuki's command was complete though his deployment of the chorus in a single line across the back of the stage did not make for ideal blend. There were also questionable decisions by the vocal soloists. Both the countertenor, Jay Carter, and the bass, Dominic Warner, overloaded their initial arias with ornamentation, then pretty much lost interest in later ones. Zachary Wilder, the tenor, was effective as the evangelist, less so in his arias. Bach's Christmas oratorio consists of six cantatas written for various days of Christmas tide and not intended to be performed together, as they often are today. Mr. Suzuki presented the first three cantatas in the sixth. The St. Luke program, a Bach Christmas, was in some ways the most fascinating. It offered a sort of Vespers service, incorporating a Gabriele Motet and Bach organ works. But its backbone consisted of two joyous works Bach presented for his first Christmas in Leipzig, the cantata No. 63, Christen, at Tag, Christians, Etch This Day, in bronze and in marble, and the Magnificat, performed in its original version in E-flat, complete with the interpolated hymns Bach added for Christmas. Unfortunately, despite many good moments from the choir and the strings of the period band Baroque in the fields, the performance did not entirely measure up. But then, even in this boom time for early music in New York, where could you hope to find the four virtuosos on Baroque trumpet that Bach requires in that blessed cantata?